Retailers and users of personal mobility devices say a new safety standard announced yesterday will be a major blow for the PMD community. Now, according to Singapore's largest e-scooter enthusiast group, some 9 in 10 PMDs here may not be compliant. Now, meanwhile, some retailers we spoke to have expressed confusion over the new rule. Ariel Lim with more. From July 2019, motorized personal mobility devices will have to meet American UL2272 safety standard to be sold in Singapore. And all non-compliant PMDs must be off public paths starting from 2021. It's hoped the new rules will help reduce fire and electrical hazards involving these devices. But they've sparked negative reactions among the local PMD community. Big Wheel Scooter Singapore, which has some 26,000 members, says they could be the most drastic regulatory changes to date. I think the community has been taken by surprise. Uh, we really did not expect uh, such a tough standards. This effectively eliminates at least at least 90% of the entire uh, PMD community. Retailers were also caught unawares. Falcon PEV says that out of the 20 models of e-scooters it sells, only one meets the safety standard. And it's unsure about issues like the cost and time frame needed for certification. We are all scrambling to find out what exactly the regulations comprise of and how to actually get certified. The question is not how will it affect sales. The correct question to ask is how many scooter shops will there be left after the regulations. This hugely curbs demand and supply. If the regulations do kick in, it is dead in the water, this whole PMD industry. Another seller estimates that some 50 to 70 percent of retailers in Singapore could be hit. We sell two American brands because they are in the U.S. market. They already have the UL2272 certification. Having said that, I think there are a lot of retailers in Singapore uh, that are affected. The UL2272 certification is a very expensive process. Certification is needed for each product model. It's not something that a user can do, and it's not something that an individual retailer can do by themselves. Some retailers hope they can be given more time to comply with the new rule, in light of the unfamiliarity with certification.